This video is about neurogenic tremors in the TRE process. Hi, I'm Dr. David Berselli, and I want to give you a brief explanation about the tremoring experience that happens in the TRE process, or the tension and trauma releasing process. As you can see in this process, the person has activated the tremoring mechanism in their body. Now this can be done by a number of different ways. You could do it simply by postural positions, isometric exercises, you can do it from a supine position. It's very easy to activate because it's autonomic, meaning it's within the body system itself. So once the tremor mechanism activates, I want to now explain what value does this have and how does it move itself through the body as well as through the nervous system. As you can see here, the person has activated the tremor mechanisms, but they're located entirely in the legs. But there is a mechanism in the spine called central pattern generators. And through the process of crosstalk, they move this tremor mechanism up and down along the spinal column. Now let's look at this in action. You see it starting in the spine, and the central pattern generators slowly move the tremor mechanism up the spine, and they go all the way up into the neck and the shoulders. Now you can see the comparison between the person whose tremors are only in their legs and segmented in the body. And now the body has reorganized, integrated, and developed a cohesive and fluid wholeness throughout the entire structure. So now let's look at how this happens neurophysiologically. So first we have the tremors come from the central pattern generators in the spine, and they go into what's called the brain stem, which is basically the place where we have our instinct responses and reactions. The brain stem is very closely connected to the limbic system, which is considered the emotional center of the brain. Once the brainstem and limbic system receive this information, the information is then sent up into the cortex where we have logic and reasoning. But when it gets to the cortex, it goes to very specific parts of the cortex. And so the cortex, as we see it here, is in, divided into three parts called the intrinsic connectivity network. There's a specific part of the intrinsic connectivity network in the cortex that receives this information, and that is the salience network. Now, the salience network should be considered something like a switch. And what the salience network does is it receives this information, and then it decides where to switch the information. Should it send this information to the default mode network, which is the part of the cortex where we engage in reflection, or should it send this information to the central executive network, which is the part of the cortex where we do some sort of action. Now, to tie all of this together with the nervous system, when we do the exercises in TRE and we activate the tremor mechanism, we also activate what's called the transcortical loop. And what this is, is there are afferent neurons in the body that send signals up to the brain through the nervous system. And then the nervous system responds from the brain with efferent neurons back into the body. And this completes what we call the transcortical loop. So now you have central pattern generators, the nervous system, and the various parts of the brain all processing how to respond to this tremor mechanism. Now the working hypotheses around activating this tremor mechanism is in the body is that it is exactly as organic and intrinsic to the neurophysiology of the body as our central pattern generators, the triune brain, and the intrinsic connectivity network. They're all inherently tied together. 
And it seems as though the tremor mechanism has some important value in helping to coordinate and communicate all these different mechanisms in the human body. Now, because these neurogenic tremors are both neurological and physiological, the most commonly reported results can be found obviously in two categories. The first one would be in terms of physical stress. Now, physical tensions in the body seem to be able to relax or release, sometimes even chronic tensions that people have had for years. So this would most primarily fit in the categories of neck pain, shoulder pains, back pains, hip pains, etc. People have found that there's been a great reduction in their tension patterns relief of pain oftentimes from these tension patterns, which would then cause an increase in mobility and flexibility, a greater sense of physical health. The second category would obviously be what we would call neurological or psychoemotional, and that would be a reduction in the level of stress or anxiety, or oftentimes a reduction in post-traumatic stress symptoms. So sometimes quickly or over a longer period of time, people will generally experience a down regulation of their nervous system, reducing the stress and anxieties that they experience from psychoemotional tensions or past histories, and a reduction in physical tension in the human body. Although I tried to make this easy and simple to understand, there can be considerable complications that can occur if a person activates the tremor mechanism and in some way it evokes some type of stressful or traumatic event from the past, they could end up being overwhelmed by this experience rather than finding it comforting and relaxing. So having said this, I want to remind you, if you have a history of a lot of physical tension in your body or you have physical limitations from surgeries or injuries, it is far better for you to find a TRE provider to guide you through these sessions rather than doing them alone at home because they know how to make adjustments to be able to accommodate all these physical stressors or limitations in the body. Additionally, if you've had severe traumas from your past or you have a lot of stress or emotional anxiety, it would also be better for you to seek out a provider to guide you through the session first so that they can assess the degree of self-regulation that you're capable of to make sure you can do these exercises safely at home by yourself.